What is going on, fellow Otaku's Marcus Spider? Today, we're back with another video today. I don't think I'm ready for this one, fam. I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. This is the review. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Uh, I saw the movie twice. I saw this movie twice, man. I saw it last weekend, and I saw this, you know, no, two weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, and I saw it uh, on Saturday. So I saw it last weekend and on Saturday. So, yes, your boy has seen Endgame. And I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts and your opinions on this movie. So, you know what I'm saying? So, going to this movie, but mentally, I was not prepared. You know what I'm saying? You, I feel like if you're going to see this movie, and there will be spoilers in this video, by the way. I'm not The, the spoiler ban has been lifted, so your boy is going to do some spoilers. So, pretty much, I'm going to try not to keep this video too long. If it gets long, I mean, hey, what are you going to do? So, got the headband out. You're right now. I'll be rocking. You feel me? So, yeah, man, so I'm going to this movie, I wasn't prepared mentally. I was not prepared mentally to see this film. Um, there's a lot of emotions everywhere, all across that theater, especially the one I went on, like, on Saturday, this, you know, last Saturday, all that crazy stuff. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of tears, a lot of crying. And let me just say, it was pretty crazy. So, starts off, you know, this movie pretty much starts off with freaking, uh, you know, we see Robert, we see, I was about to say Robert, this, the actual name, we see Tony Stark in space with, um, Jagora, Janera, Janera? Janera? I'm gonna call it Janera. I forgot to forget that alien, that blue alien chick's name sometimes. So, yeah. Um, we see Janera, Tony Stark's Tony Stark's members in space. They're playing like the whole football thing. You know how when you have the, um, and this actually, people be doing this in school as well. They had the jump and they just had, they just pretty much flick it into the thing. Use your hand as like a, like a goalie or something like that for football. And they pretty much playing that. It starts off with that. Tony Stark is pretty much in space. Um, then, then, uh, somewhere down the line, uh, he's making, he made, he made a video of himself pretty much saying, like, yo, I mean, I might not make it. Uh, and stuff like that, you know, pretty much made a recording before he was, before he was going to pass away, he pretty much knew that he was, that he had a feeling that, that, that his time will be coming soon, he felt like that, um, his, you know, his, he will be, uh, end up passing away somewhere down the line, nobody knew, and, uh, yeah, so, that ended up happening, and, um, so pretty much, fast forward a little bit, fast forward a little time from that, Tony Stark ends up falling, falling asleep, then, then somewhere down the line, we see Captain Marvel pretty much pull up, um, and we're gonna get it. There's actually something I need to say about Captain Marvel, but I'll probably I'll say that as the review goes on, as the review goes down, I probably I probably be missing a lot of the key details and all that crazy stuff. But it's fine. Stuff like that does end up happening. You you know can't remember everything from especially this film was like freaking three hours long, so you're not gonna remember able to remember everything. And uh, so yeah, so yeah, pretty much you know Captain Marvel pretty much comes into the rescue, saves pretty much saves Tony uh, Tony Stark, brings the ship down into the into the Earth and back on to land, and then. We see Tony pretty much, you know, he looks, he looks banged up. I mean, the dude looks really banged up and all that crazy stuff. He looks pretty exhausted, you know, because you, you were in space for all year, no, no food, no nothing, like, stuff like that. You yeah, you pretty much feel some type of way and all that crazy stuff. So, um, uh, that ended up happening. And, uh, one thing, one thing for sure is that you see, you see, like, you see, like, him, him and, uh, Captain, Captain America pretty much go at it, saying, like, Again, again, so he was arguing against this and all that thing. Tony Stark ends up passing out. He's pretty much, pretty much like, because he was banged up, bro. The dude's pretty messed up. Uh, while Tony was pretty much in in a coma. I went out in a coma. He was pretty much like, he was worn out. Uh, Captain Marvel. Captain, this was what I found crazy. So they all were here saying, like, and I'm not really like the biggest fan of Captain Marvel, but I feel like people really shouldn't be giving her a hard way to go, especially in like in the ending of the film. So anyway, let's stay on topic here. We'll get to that in a little bit. But um, yeah, Captain Marvel pretty much, they all like, you know, um, Rhodey's pretty much saying like, yo, girl, you going with Captain Marvel? She's about to go kill Thanos. Yo, when I say, oh, and side note, when, when, I, when, I, when she said that, though, I heard a couple of chuckles in the theater, but it was like, <laughs> I heard a couple of chuckles. I don't understand Captain Marvel was kind of like Superman in the Marvel, in the Marvel, in the MCU universe, in the Marvel universe. I understand that Captain Marvel is like really OP, is probably the strongest character in and the Avengers, uh, I know she's kind of like Superman, not really had much of a personality, kind of a bland character, kind of like Wonder Woman and Superman, and not really, she doesn't really have much of a personality and stuff like that, so, uh, I kind of see where, I kind of like, she has that, she's overpowered, she's OP, not a lot of really great, you know, she's kind of bland, so, you know what I'm saying, so, she's just that, what, that one overpowered hero, and stuff like that, for no reason, so, um, yeah, uh, so, yeah, they said, like, yeah, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill Thanos, they pretty much say, yo, what makes you think you can do that? And when we speak, you do that. We all failed. Now they're all saying, um, Rhodey said, uh, Tony Stark's friend said, oh, we all about that superhero life. It's not just you that's about that action. What makes you think you can kill Thanos, you know, and kill Thanos by yourself? And we couldn't do it. And she was all like, well, before, that's because I wasn't here. And she all like, yo, does she really think she all that, fam? She all like, it's because I wasn't here with y'all. It's going to be different this time. And then you see my man's Thor. You see Thor come up in the cut. It was all... You see Thor get up off get off his coffee chair. 
Get up off his, get off of this little chair in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Pull the pants up, you know what I'm feel me? He come in the cut, and he summons uh, his, his freaking uh, axe, bro. He be like, no, he be, he, he summoned his, he summoned, he summoned uh, his axe, bro. I forgot the name for it. There's a name for it. I don't know. If, it wasn't the hammer, though, because that, that we didn't see that until like, later on in the movie. Um, let's see if he was still worthy. So, uh. So, yeah, he summoned it, and then he smashed that shit on the ground. Brie Larson, she, I mean, I mean, I keep, um, Captain Marvel, she, she wasn't rolling down. She was, she was, she was right with him. She said, you know, Thor pretty much said, yo, I like this one. She was like, he like the attitude. He's like, he messes with her attitude. And, uh, so yeah, that, and that ends up happening. And, um, you know, Captain, no, they, they said that they, they mess with her. So after that, fast for a little bit, we get to, we get to, we get to this freaking, I don't know, um, I guess this is where they last, where, where, the, where the old fighting station, Infinity, Infinity War was. We see Thanos in the cut. You know, Thanos is out here picking berries and food and stuff, getting sawed and just, you know, gathering food supplies. You know, you can tell he's banged up. You can tell his arm is just pretty much it's destroyed from using the Infinity Gauntlet back in Infinity War. You can tell that he's just pretty much banged up, destroyed, weak, not strong like he was in Infinity War because all the because because all the power that went in the freaking gauntlet that he used it drained out pretty much all of his energy. So. And um, we see him in the cut, and then he pretty much goes into this little cabin or whatever, and, and uh, I don't know where the heck they, I don't know where the heck the location was, so they pretty much go into the, uh, he goes to this little cabin, John, or whatever, and uh, so yeah, and to make a long story short, they cool, they pull up on him, you know, Avengers pull up on him, you know, I, I don't know who broke through his little cabin, but I don't want, I know Captain Marvel pretty much put him in a chokehold, one of them put him in a chokehold, and they start going to town on this dude, bro, they was giving him the works, bro. And uh, then pretty much after that, they was all they, they were looking for the Infinity Stones because they so they can you know make sure they get changed back back to normal. And I realized I just missed a very important piece. Okay, I forget. All right, we're gonna start from the beginning, 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 beginning. We see Hawkeye with his kids, and uh, with his kids, and everything just disappeared. And then that, then that's then that's how that happened. Yeah, Hawkeye was with his kids practicing the bow and arrow. Then that's how all that started. Okay, now we go back to the. I forgot to say that part. Okay, one take. You're only doing one take, bro. Uh, so um, yeah, back to this. So they pretty much rolling up on Thanos. They just destroy Thanos. They like bodying this dude, and uh, I'm like, yo, this is just. I mean, like, it wasn't like I'm not gonna hold you. People were kind of like kind of gassing this up a little bit on the internet because people say, yo, Thanos is getting his cheeks done, fam. But not really, not really. He wasn't really. I mean, he got a, all the, like, he he got a couple couple got a couple hits in, got a couple punches in the face and all that crazy stuff. But for the most part. It wasn't that bad until the very end of what happened, which we'll get to in like a few minutes here. So, uh, um, they're pretty much saying like, "Yo, where did Infinity Stones?" Stand us over here, pretty much saying like, "Y'all destroyed them, Jones, but them Jones are are gone." <laughs> don't, 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 oh, snap, my fault. No Infinity Stones are gone, fam. Hold up, yeah, they, they, they're gone. He said, "I break the them, Jones." So, um, that ends up happening, and uh, so. There, so they pretty much say, "Yo, that's bull, bro. You didn't, you did, you, you. you where, where you hide them Infinity Stones? They sort of, they're over here saying like, they, they, they got to. So people are saying like, the Avengers people are saying like, yo, they're around here somewhere. We just got to keep looking. We got to keep looking around. Then here comes Janora. She pretty much was saying like, yo, there's one thing. All right, my father may be a scum, but there's, but there's one thing that he is not, a liar. And that's so he's not a liar. So that's one, that's one thing that he is not. He, he's my father's a lot of things, but he, he ain't a liar now. So they pretty much roll with it. And then Thanos is pretty much saying like. Oh, I was treated you so well. I should have treated you better. This and that, and uh, my beautiful daughter in here, and all that crazy stuff. And then here, here comes Thor. It comes out of nowhere, and I'm telling you, they didn't catch me by surprise. When, and when I tell you, it shook me. It shook some of the guys in the theater too. Then Thor comes out of nowhere with his head, with his ass, just sliced that dude's head off, fam. So uh, his head, his head is pretty much down. It's just, it's just scattered, blood scattered everywhere on Denora's face. Everywhere it was freaking, it was crazy. Jesus was wiping, wiping the pink purple blood off her face and all that crazy stuff. So um, uh yeah, that ends up happening. So uh, they all like, yo, Thor, Thor, what you doing, fam? Thor was all like, I went for the head. <laughs> they just routed. So um, yeah, he just said, I went for the head, fam. What you mean, what I did? So after that, they just kind of skipped the past five years. Uh, the past um. For the most part, nothing really ha nothing really happens. I'm not trying to. There's a lot of fluff goes around. But what we really, what we mainly want to really get to is the um to the whole time, uh, which was a lot of confusion. By the way, there's a lot of confusion. Um, I honestly, I pretty, I personally really enjoyed the whole time machine. Uh, okay, we we can start from here. Ant Man pretty much came up, uh, out of nowhere. Try, I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm not. There's a lot of a lot of fluff in the film too. So I'm trying to get to, like to the main points in the, in the story. So um, and we pretty much see Ant Man. Ant-Man uh, pretty much said, you know how you know how five years have passed? He said, well, for me, that wasn't five years. That was pretty much five, five hours, more like five hours, So which was pretty much because it was kind of gave him the idea for the time machine. 
So when he's looking, he's looking like to see if um, he saw us. He said he saw this little kid asking what's going on. Why is everything? Uh, why what, what happened here? Why is the whole place destroyed? Why is everything so beat up? The kid who and I, apparently he was in the first Avengers film. Um, he pretty much said he just walked away. Brandon ran off on his bike. So he he sees his family again. He look he's looking at like the little uh, this what the what's the stuff called? And in cemetery, he's looking for names and stuff. And um, and he sees his name on there. He sees his name. Because his name is Scott, you know, Scott Lane, he, he saw his name on there. So he sprinted to his house to, to, to let him know, yo, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, nothing, nothing happened to me. So he's happy to see his family. And then after that, he pretty much goes to the Avengers Tower. Um, and he pretty much, tell, he, time machine, this is pretty much when the time machine happens. Uh, Captain America, uh, Captain America, Captain America kind of thought he was crazy and nothing cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But actually, somewhere down the line, people sounded like a pretty good idea. So, um, yeah, that ended up happening. So they said, so so that ends up happening. Then we see Tony Stark again. We see Tony Stark. We pretty much they're pretty much saying like, so they're pretty much saying like, yo, like yo, uh, Tony, we need you. They're pretty much saying like, right back to Tony. They're pretty much saying like, you know, they, Tony has a daughter and all that. Tony is you know, living that good life. You know, he's in has a nice house. He's with Pepper. He's with his daughter and all that crazy stuff. So all that good stuff. So then Tony, Captain, you see Captain Marvel, Black Widow. You see um, Ant Man in the cut as well. That people are saying, Yo, Tony, we need you so we up with the time machine because there's a chance because we can actually reverse time and we can fix what we lost. We can get back what we lost. That you know we can, and, but we need you because Tony, like I said, Tony is the smart, is the smartest guy in, in 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 the MCU pretty much. So they're saying like, Yo, Tony, we really need you, bro. We really could use your help with this time machine because we can get back what we lost. There's so so many chances that we can get to tony's like yo i'm not trying to hear that bro i'm not trying to hear that i don't i'm done you know you know you, you know he was saying he's who you, you could tell and as you could just tell you know what i'm saying he was he was he was done with the whole superhero thing and uh he was ready to live life and just being you know be a regular person be a regular human being and still living that hero life 24 7 every single day so tony said yo y'all can y'all can y'all can stay for dinner y'all can y'all can bounce so that's pretty much what they did you know tony was kind of offering dinner and, but and they left so um so fast forward that we see Hulk. we see Hulk. Hulk looks dumb different. Hulk is pretty much um a lot of people are saying like this is like the Bruce Bruce Banner talk, the Professor Hulk, uh Bruce Banner slash Hulk kind of mutates together into one, you know, instead of like as Hulk as um the Hulk pretty much explained in the movie, you know, instead of just trying to look at Hulk as a disease or something like that, how about combine the two? Combine Hulk and Bruce Banner, then you just get a regular human being. He's just a big green dude, you know what I'm saying? So uh a lot of people are saying he's like Professor Hulk. I guess. I mean, honestly, maybe. Um, a lot of people saying they should have put Warhawk in here, Warhawk in there. Like, I pretty much agree with that, but I'll touch on that a little bit as well. And, uh, so, um, yeah, so this, they pretty much ran the idea by Hawk, uh, or Bruce Banner because he is smart. You know, he's probably the sm second smartest char uh, character in the MCU in the Marvel Universe. And, um, they ran it by him. Hawk pretty much said, I'm in. One, there was one funny scene in the movie where, uh, the, the picture, John. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hawk said, the, the kids came up with Hawk saying, yo, you say, yo, Hawk, you trying to take a picture with us? And, uh. Hulk was like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, oh, yeah, they took the picture. Ant Man, they don't, they don't. Hey, Ant Man's like, you want to take a picture of me? My name is Ant Man. So uh, they were all like, nah, we good. <laughs> nah, we good. We don't know you. Ant Man was like, we don't know you. And then they take. Hulk was like, he was trying to tell him, yo, you should take a picture with him. And he was like, oh, I guess. And then Ant Man was like, don't take the phone, bro. I don't want. I don't care no more. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, they they get to the so they get to the Avengers Tower. Um. Uh, they used Scott for they, they got the time machine thing down, so they, they were testing it on Scott to make sure if this thing can actually work. End up working and all that. A couple times they failed. Scott came back as a baby, an old man, a teenager, and uh, eventually came to came back to himself. And uh, they eventually they so they, they, ended up, they ended up getting it. That's for a little bit. You see Tony, Tony's and you know Tony. While well, Tony said like, "Yo, I'm not about that superhero action no more. I uh, superhero life no more. I don't want to do this." He was still. You know, in his house, figuring it out. He was still trying to figure out like, what's like. How can I fix this? You know, how can I, how can I? Because it was still his mind. You could tell it was kind of bugging him. So he's like, cause like you know, he was thinking like, yo, actually, it probably, I don't want my. I do love, love to bring these people back and make the world a better place. So he was figuring out what he could do, um, to uh, to bring the people back that that, that people lost. So that ends up happening. Uh, Tony, 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 and after that. So, and it took it took all them the the people over at the Avengers Tower. The Avengers it took them for a long time. It's Tony figured it out. I don't want like what like five minutes. It didn't take him that long to figure out how long to work that thing. So he figures it out. Uh, Tony was pretty much you know Tony was with his daughter and stuff like that. It was a funny scene in that in between. 
Um, you know, he told me, you know, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker down there in bed. Uh, Tony just said, like, yo, Pepper, I don't really have to, I don't have to do this. This is, I mean, if you, I don't have to do this, I could just lay down, just forget about this whole thing. Pursue Pepper's all like, listen, I, do you have any idea? I mean, since I tried to tell you that, but you still didn't listen to me. And, um, Tony's like, yeah, you're right. And then the next day, Tony pulled up, uh, pulled up to the Avengers Tower. And just with, with Captain America's shield that he made for him. And, um, yeah, Tony pretty much figured it, figured everything out. So, time machine, so the time machine thing ends up working out pretty well. And, uh... Yeah, yep, so yeah. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna cut this up. After that, after that, they pretty much said, well, we gotta look for the rest of the squad. They gotta look for the rest of the team. And uh, that's, that's what they did. So, first off, so for, the, for the first thing they looked, they were looking for, um, was, uh, who was, I, I'm not, I'm trying to remember if it was Thor? Next person was, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah. Because Hulk and... Of uh, the, the raccoon guy, I forgot his name too. I be forget, bro. I forget, forget his name too. Um, the right, yeah, there was Hulk and the raccoon got raccoon rocket or something. They were looking, so this one was looking for looking for Thor. Um, they were the lady, the lady uh was pretty much saying like, yo, yeah, he's not coming out anytime soon unless he's taking care of some personal business, quote unquote. Am I right? And uh, they said. Uh, so they couldn't find it. So they couldn't find him anywhere. So they pretty much looked in it, and they ended up looking inside his little house. The little else he got in it. And we just see Thor. This dude is big, man. This dude is big. He is really, really big. He is not the the god of thunder that we all remember from previous years. So, um, yeah. So, he was a pretty big guy. Uh, we couldn't. He, we, he, uh, was, he looked really different. And so, and then, then the next thing we know, we end up seeing Fortnite. They show Fortnite. Fortnite is partnered with Marvel. Yes, we we already noticed and all that. So it was only fair, and no matter, even though it was, it was pretty much kind of crazy and all that crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, that ended up happening. So they pretty much they played Fortnite. That was crazy. Thor pretty much saying, "Yo," and then I guess one of the one of the people that uh, Thor knew. On um, the Rocky dude from uh, Ra uh Thor Ragnarok, he was all like, "Thor, the Thor, there's this guy, there was this guy, he keeps messing with me again." So Thor pretty much tells him how it is, and yo, if you keep messing with my man's one more time, I'm gonna go out on there and <laughs> to, to take care of business with you. So um, Hulk man, then uh, Hulk pretty much tells Thor, saying, yo, "What's wrong, buddy? What, why, why are you acting like this?" And Thor, is, and Thor is all like, "Yo, man, I'm Gucci, I'm chilling, ain't nothing wrong with me." And then uh, you know, Hulk's all right through it and. Hulk trying to reason with him, saying, "Yo, bro, we need you for Thor. We need you for uh, Thanos and all that." Thor is all like, "Thor, you could tell it's hitting him hard, bro. You could, could tell." That's the rest of pretty much why he's late. Why he looks like that is because of what happened. Because of what happened. So, uh, um, so that ends up happening. Thor's all like, "Thor's like, don't ever say his name." When you're in his house. Everybody was all, "Yeah, we can't say his name, bro." So, um, yeah. So that that ends up happening. Uh, Thor, Thor saying, I don't want, I can't do it, I can't do this anymore, y'all gonna have to find somebody else, and then, uh, Rocket was all like, yo, we got beer on the ship, and he said, well, what kind, and Thor was pretty much rocking for them, so, um, you know, fast forward a little bit then, they're over here trying to, they, so they're pretty, all pretty much trying to, trying to figure out where all the stones are, or, uh, no, I'm pretty sure after that, So pretty much fast forward a little bit, fast forward a little bit from there. Um, you know, Specie Black Widow pretty much uh talking to um Captain Captain Marvel. Uh, who else? It was Captain Marvel was in there. Uh, Rocket and a couple other people. Captain uh, Black Widow's pretty much saying like you could tell it was overwhelming her. She was about to cry and she was pretty much you know she was sad. I don't know. And that's once yeah, that's one scene I did miss that about the whole emotional. How emotional Black Widow was, and Captain Mar Captain America came to comfort her, ca comfort her pretty much. And uh, yeah, fast forward a little bit, then um, we get to, we get we put, then after we get to uh, uh, what was next after this? I'm trying to remember. Let me see. Look over here. Um. Yeah, so they're pretty much locating where the Infinity where where the Infinity Stones are 
Uh, they had, so where the Infinity Stones are and all that located. Thor then Thor pretty much came up there, gave his little ideas, and then he started he, he started telling this whole story about this and that. I'm like, oh my gosh, Thor, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> so um, yeah, that ends up happening and all that fun, funny stuff. Then um, I bet they did figure out what they're trying to do. Um, but they found where all the stones were located and all that crazy stuff. So each of them had to go find, go to their own specific spot because that's where because not not all the stones are located in the same exactly same exact place location. They had to travel back some years ago, like back like I'm talking about like 60s and 70s type time, 2012 and 2014, and uh, some other times. Not and some yeah, some of the stones were all located in the same spot, but not all of them. Um. So I think what the first one, the first one. So they all pretty much got gathered up in the time time machine. Uh, they went back in time. I'm trying to remember which spot they went to first. I don't know if it was the first, the uh, 2012 time. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to remember which spot. I'm pretty sure it was that. So that ends up happening. They go they go into the time machine, but that was that, and then that was so epic. Like the the whole going back in time as it was just so beautifully well done i really enjoyed that that was really nice i loved how that was done um i kind of felt like it was kind of it kind of rushed it i feel like there was a lot on this whole movie i feel like it's a good movie but it's kind of i do feel like there was some stuff that didn't really need to be shown in the movie because the pacing I, I a lot of things like if you're going into this movie looking for action yes there is action in this movie but it's not like how infinity war is that's pretty much probably probably why people like infinity war still a little bit more than um endgame because of the action if you're going into this film expecting a lot of action like right out the gate don't then you're don't 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 expect that you know they're pretty much like really going in deep there's the, the, the whole time machine thing and you know it starts off it starts off the pacing does starts off pretty slow but it does pick up eventually i say around like a quarter of the end of the film so, um, yeah, don't expect like crazy action, like right out the gate, like we usually have seen in previous, um, Marvel films. So, and, uh, yeah, back to, anyway, they travel back in time. They say, they're saying, um, they all pretty much split up and all that. Um, Hawk went to go find the soul stone and all that crazy stuff. And, um, Cap, you know, Iron Man or Tony Stark, I should say, uh, went to, went to go locate and they, they were all with Ant-Man. So Hulk is ran ran into the late ran into the lady that works with that was pretty much you know who works with Doctor Strange talking to him and saying like yo, uh we're strange, and uh it's that, and then the Hulk ended up seeing the stone she's from saying yo you're five years too early or whatever. Um, Hulk is trying to reason with her like yo I need that stone lady, and then she says you don't have to do this so. She said well. Forget it. So Hulk pretty much says, try to take it from it. And she literally knocked the soul out of Hulk, bro. Like, I mean, his whole, uh, whatever. Like, it, it was crazy. That was funny. So she's like, Yo, let's start over and let's try that again. So uh, that ends up happening. There. So, and not too long after that, we see Tony. Um, they were having a little hard time trying to get their, trying to get their side of the stone. And uh, trying to get their side of the stone. Uh, it worked out pretty well, you know, Ant-Man pretty much went inside of the old Tony Stark, and, um, was able to get, was able to kind of get, get, get whatever, get, get, whatever they were able to get, they ended up finding, they ended up getting it out of Tony, um, then, and then, then this was just so epic, and this movie has a lot of fan service as well, it's a lot of fan service, uh, it's just crazy, man, it's like all of our dreams pretty much came true in this movie, bruh. So um yeah we see yeah we see my man's uh Captain America versus Captain America in the cut bro, um uh, it was crazy we got to see Cap versus Cap, um that was that was crazy that was crazy, uh that was it was the action the action in that fight was just so nice uh they pretty much there was a reference there was a reference going back to um uh Civil War Avengers Mar um, Avengers Civil War when. Uh, Captain America said, "I can do this all day," and uh, when he said, "I can do this all day," and then Captain America was like, "Yeah, I know, I know." It was so awesome. There's a lot of references, and this is something I really love. There's a lot of references from the previous Avengers films, and in this movie, and the second time seeing, there's like, "Yo, yo, I forgot. I remember that and that and that." Because the first time, like, I kind of forgot. Like, and after I saw it the second time, I was like, "Yo." 
That's crazy. That's crazy. I see. I remember that. I remember when he said this and that. And I remember when that happened. It was just a dope. It was dope because I mean, I, it was. It's like I love how they just kind of brought back some of those rap, the old rappers back because like, oh, it definitely gets you saying like, oh man, that's cool. It's dope. Excuse me. So, you know, Cap pretty much fighting. Then, then after that, they end up seeing uh, the other Captain America from the twenty twelve version saw. Um. Saw. Uh, the other Cap's lover, you know, the Cap, because the, the girl, they fell in love with back in the 60s, and um, uh, they grabbed it, then uh, so the, the 2012 Captain America pretty much has uh, the the current Captain America, and, you know, all right, so pretty, all right, so after that, we pretty much get to the whole um, Black Widow and Hawkeye Hawkeye scene where they were all like, you know, they were, now they had to get the Soul Stone. They all they both had to get the Soul Stone. And how the Soul Stone works is how well y'all can get it, but one of y'all gonna have to jump off this cliff. Y'all gonna have one of y'all gonna have to, you know, uh, Yamiski sacrifice yourself. You feel me? So that end up so um, Hawkeye figured thinking like, yo, there's gotta be another way we can do this. There's gotta be something else we can do. This it can't go. It can't. It can't go down like this. Uh, the dudes people saying, yo, fam, this is how y'all got. This is how y'all gotta do this. You know what I'm saying? This is how this is gonna have to work if y'all want the stone. And uh. Um, yeah, that ends up so yeah, that ends up happening. So Black Widow's like, well, somebody's got to do it, and uh, she so she volunteered. You no, know, Black Widow said, you know what? F it, I'm gonna do this. I want I want peace to be back to this world, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm an adventure, and I was made for this. You know what I'm saying? I was born for this. I was made for this. This is what being a hero does. You know what I'm saying? You have she said, you know you have, you have to make tough choices, and this is one of them. So um, Hawkeye, and Black Widow, the hug and say I'm gonna miss you, and this and that. And uh, honestly, I thought Black Hawkeye was gonna let it balance it. Next thing I know, Hawkeye was all like, yo, he. Pitch, pitch, black Widow on the ground said, yo, tell my family I love her. I love the fam. Black Widow was like, nigga, what you said. Hey, young boy, you can say it yourself. He zaps him. So Black Widow pretty much, you know, you know he sprints to the cliff before Hawkeye can get up. Then Hawkeye, she grabs his bow and arrow and big boom, and things explode and all that stuff, bro. And um, you see Hawkeye throws his bow and arrow on the ground. So Hawkeye's like, us, us, us. And he's like, young boy. And then you see Black Widow just jump. Grabs Hawkeye, ties him up to the um, they, they'll grab each other up to the um, up to, up to the uh, boulder or whatever, and then they're pretty much on the wall with on the wall, and he's saying like, "Yo, why would you do that?" Then you know all that stuff that she said, and they, you know, this Black Widow news like not too, you know, quickly after the Black Widow news like, "Yo, I'm not getting out of this." Um, she's like, "Let me go." She says, "It's gonna be okay. Everything will be fine." And Hawkeye's like, "No, I can't do it. I can't let you go." You know, because that's you not know, that's you know that's how it rolls. So they, so see, he she, uh, he didn't want to do it, and um, Hawkeye started crying, and Black Widow pretty much pushes herself off the wall, off the um, rocky wall, and. And she ends up falling, and then everybody. I mean, honestly, I didn't really. I, I was I first time seeing that I did cry, but not the second time. I was still kind of. I was like, dang. I was still sad because I like Black Widow. She's a dope character, but um, I didn't cry that time. But so yeah, that ended up. So she, she ended up uh, passing. Passing. It was kind of sad. It was pretty sad. Not even gonna hold you. I was sad. I mean, because I like Black. Like, I like Black Widow's character. So they got the stone. You know, they got the stone. That's the that's, that's like the best stone. That's like the stone that they needed for real. They needed that stone more than anything in the world. So they pretty much end up getting that, and uh, so um. All right, so yeah, the end of the, I'm sorry, the time she's back, they're back, they're back pretty much, they're back where they were supposed to be, the back of the Avengers Tower. Um, everybody shows up, everybody's there, and then everybody was like, yeah, we did it. Everybody was all happy and glad and all that crazy stuff. And then they quickly realized, like, yo, where's Nas? Where's, where's Natasha? Where's she at? Um, and then like, where's she at? Then they're all saying, Hawkeye was like, nah, she didn't make it, bitch. So uh, she didn't make it. So everybody was upset. Everybody was emotional, and everybody was you know arguing with each other and all that crazy stuff. And uh, and um. Yeah, oh, oh, one part I did forget with, with the whole, uh, right, okay, going back to it, uh, yeah, to the whole Janera part, ha yeah, uh, uh, Rhodey and, uh, Janera, they pretty much, they, they found their stone, they were able to get what they needed to get, but Janera couldn't go back because, um, there was another Janera, because Janera was like, yo, there's not another, there's, uh, they're not, there wasn't more, there was more than, there's more people out here looking for the stone than just us, so that was, that was with Thanos and Janera and Janera's sister, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that ends up happening. So both of their links, so Janera and the, the Janera from the current from the current Marvel universe and the Janera from the twenty fourteen Marvel universe, they end up linking up. So both of their so both of their kind of like uh, uh, tapes kind of link up to each other because they're, they're the same person. So the the, the, the footage from Janera were uh, pretty much locked onto the other one. So Thanos saw like how Janera was spilling the beans and all that. You know saying like how how Janera saying all the stuff and where the stones are, how they need to get the stones. And Thanos called on real quick was all like, oh snap! So this is so this is what the Avengers are up to, huh? So they never think about killing Janera, but Janera was like, yo, wait, we can still use her. Uh, I know my daughter went to do stuff like that, and um, yeah, so the other generation getting captured, or switched, I should say. Yeah, captured, and the other generation twenty fourteen went to the current one. All right, now we're back. Now we're caught up. So yeah, they all everybody gets out. Everybody's upset because Natasha died. She passed away, you know, because of what happened. And uh, so, so they moved on. They said, "Yo, we gotta keep them. We gotta keep moving." So next, this is when they bring in the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. That's what I like to call it. So they bring in the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, Tony made it. Tony made it, and all that crazy stuff with the Infinity, all the Infinity Stones on it. Uh, everybody trying to decide, yo, who the freak is gonna snap this job, fam? So Thor was like, I'm, I'm the strongest Avenger. I'm the strongest Avenger. I can do. <clears throat> I can do this. I can do. I'm the strongest Avenger. So uh, and I'm like, yeah, I guess. 
then Hulk was all like, yo, step aside, fam. I was made for this. Like, he's like, you know, like I was made for this. You know what I'm saying? I was made to do this. I was born for this. So Hulk pretty much, you know, he had the Iron Man 50 gauntlet on. Um, everybody was, everybody was all suited up. You know, Iron Man, everybody had, had their suits on. They were all geared up, had the shields and all that. They were all ready. They were all freshed up and ready to go and all that stuff. So Hulk, he, he did the snap. No, he put that 50 gauntlet on my fault. And the power was, you can see the power was burning his arm. He can't open his neck and his face. It was burning him, but he could take it. But he said he was okay. And on top of that, he can probably, he could take it. Probably, he could take the pain a whole lot better than anybody else in the Avengers team. Maybe, or other than Thor. Maybe Thor could have taken it. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Hulk said he said he was Gucci. It was a lot for him to do that stab, but he did end up getting it. And uh, so, yeah, so they ended up getting it. Everything was good to go. Hulk was his, was a crispy critter. He was burned, fam. Tony pretty much sprayed him down and all that with, uh, I guess, the fire, well, I guess the fire, the extinguisher from his suit. And um, Ant-Man and Hawkeye pretty much look outside and say, yo, everything's back to normal. Everything looks like it's at peace again. And, uh, no, and then Hawkeye gets a phone call because that's that. And Hawkeye gets a phone call. And uh, that pretty much shows, like, yo, everything's back to normal because he got the phone call. Um, Janeiro was able to summon the spaceships and all that, uh, the ship. And all, that, and all that crazy stuff. Next thing we know, boom! It went 0 to 100. This is where things get juicy. This is where it gets spicy, fans. Then, Thanos' shit fires off full missile into the Avengers Tower. They destroy everything. Destroying the Avengers Tower. It blasts the Hawk in the face. Everything was destroyed. It's like, I'm thinking like, I'm in my mom in the theater. I'm like, yo, how the heck did they make it do this? It's like somebody just bombed the whole, and technically they did, but they just bombed the whole entire um, the Avengers Tower. It's like, how can anybody make it out of this? You feel me? So, Rocket and, uh, you know, uh, Rhodey and uh, Paul Hawk is now. I, I, I feel like this is really underrated from, from Hawk. You know, a lot of people don't give Hawk enough credit. Hawk is down there in the Avengers Tower, literally holding the whole tower up with his full arm, my guy, holding that jaw, making sure that jaw does not collapse completely, and make sure the whole because like, had Hawk would let go of that Avengers Tower, that whole thing, the whole everybody would have been boned. Everybody that because him holding that tower was really connecting for everything. You know, was able to Hawk out of move him holding that was connected to everybody. So hey, drop that jaw, everybody would have been boned, bro. So a lot of people kind of sleep on that. A lot of people saying like, well, Hawk, Hawk. Was Hulk was pretty much useless. Boy, he boy, he was strong. He stabbed the Infinity Gauntlet with his fingers, and, it, and you know how strong that Infinity Gauntlet is. All that power, all that power, all that um, chemical, chemically waves, and all that. He did that. Brought you know, he brought the people back, and he held that tower to make sure anybody didn't die. Come on, man. Hulk had two, ended two. One of the most important scenes in the film. So yeah, Hulk's holding that up. Everybody gets out, kind of. And uh, Hawkeye has Infinity Gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? Hawkeye pretty much has the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, he's running with it. He's you know destroying the monsters and all that. That's inside the Avengers Tower. Everyone snuck in from the ship. From the ship. I'm gonna say the ship. The ship. So um. Yeah, Hawkeye has a pretty gallon. And uh, he's, making a, he's making a run for it. Um, Hawk is still holding up. The next thing we know, we get to the Iron Man versus... We got Iron Man, we got Thor, and we got Cap. They all like, where's the 50 gallon? They think it's like it's all there. It's, it's probably underneath. They're all like, we got to keep it that way. Thanos is, pretty much, Thanos is pretty much sitting there waiting for these dudes to come pull up on him because he knew he was going to have to rumble soon. So he sat in his seat, had his helmet on, sitting, waiting for him to run his feet, fam. So that ends up happening. And, um, hey, yo. Uh, we see Thor, uh, we said, we, they're all like saying, yo, let's roll up on Thanos, we gotta roll this dude, we gotta make sure he's done, make sure he does not come back, and that's exactly what happened, the lightning blasts up on Thor, his beard ends up getting tied in the knots, I don't know how that happened, but I guess it was the lightning, I don't know how lightning can make your beard tie up like that, and then he's hair, and then Thor was looking fresh with the beard, he was looking fresh, he was looking like a real god, you feel me, got a little lightning, you feel me, so, um, that ends up happening, and, uh, Make a long story short, they rolled up on Thanos. They were talking all that good stuff. Thanos is still talking. Thanos has no fear. Thanos is, despite how, despite how evil and cruel Thanos is, I love hearing this guy talk. Because the way this guy talks, he just has such a weight of words. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's what's happening. You know, they over, they, they talking, they're talking, and, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So, they're talking all that good stuff. Then, they, then fast forward, they boxing, they boxing. Thor was out here. Thor, Thor was getting. Thor was getting watched. He had. A, he, he was looking intimidating. The, 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 he wasn't intimidating, but for the most part, he was getting watched. He was getting cooked. Uh, Tony was getting cooked. Um. Thor was actually about to die from his um axe and all that stuff, and uh, um, from his from from the axe. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, uh, Thor about to check. Thor really about to out here check, man. He about to freaking check. So that is something. Like, Thor was fine. He was Thor was about to check, and then it was like Thanos was slowly breaking the axe up until uh. Uh, his, the Thor's testament. Yo, Thor about to, Thor about to be. And then, and then, we see Captain America summon Thor's hammer. Oh, my. Yo, when, when, yo, first time seeing that, the whole theater went bananas, bro. I wish I recorded that, because people was in there hyped, including, I mean, second time seeing it, the boy was still hyped, fam. So, that, no, not that, but Captain America was literally giving, was giving it to Thanos, bro. He was gagging him, swagging him with Thor's hammer, giving him the works and all that good stuff. And, uh. Yo, it was vicious. It was crazy stuff. Captain America was in there giving Thanos the work for that joint for a little bit. Thanos was all like, all right, cut the bull crap. He, then he starts he smashing, destroying Captain America's shield. And uh, that, it started to end bad for the homeboy. So, uh, yeah, that, that's how that's something. So that ends up happening, all that crazy stuff. And, uh, hmm. So, yeah. 
that ends up happening. Um, Thor pretty much said, "I knew it." He, I knew it. He was all because and it, another thing, it kind of reference back, kind of reference back from Civil. I think it was Age of Ultron. But remember when Thor was was was, was, was all challenging everybody to see if they were worthy to lift up the um hammer. Um, Thor and then Captain America was the only person that kind of smudged it a little bit. Meanwhile, nobody, you know, Hulk couldn't lift it up, and you know how big and strong Hulk is. So, uh, but Cap was able to you know smear it a little bit, so they smudged it a little bit, lift it up a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. So, um, yeah, he was able to so, yeah, so he was able to get that done out the way. Uh, that was crazy. Um, so yeah, it was a reference back into that, so, uh, yeah, uh, what else happened, what else ended up happening? Um, so yeah, Cap's going to town with Thanos, the Thanos pretty much, you know, he's, the, the, the hammer pretty much, Thor's hammer pretty much goes, goes away, goes away, and, uh, Thor is pretty much giving him the worst, and the Thanos, uh, then Thor, and then he, there was some kicking, uh, kicking uh, Thor right in the face, and everybody was bad, everybody was down, then he basically got to the point where it was just Captain America by himself, and, uh, so, and then Thanos' the squad pretty much pulls up, you see Thanos' army everywhere, and, Son, you see Thanos' army, you see Thanos himself, everybody, my guy. But, and, and what I liked about this is Cap was like, you know what, bro? I might get my, my cheeks torn into two, but I'm still going to put up a fight. He was slowly walking towards him, and then bam. Bam, bam, bam. Sam, uh, pretty much said, like, and then I, think, I think it was uh, Black Panther. I, I don't know if, I, don't, I, think, I think it was Black Panther. I think with the teller, he, he messaged, he said, yo, Thor. Not Thor, he said, yo, Cap, look to your left. He said, look to your left. What happened Uh-oh. He said, yo, Cap, look to your left. So he pretty much say, yo, Cap, look to your left and all that stuff. And then uh, we see Wakanda. We see literally everybody from Doctor Strange Universe even. And uh, the doctors, one of the guys from who worked with Doctor Strange was all like, yo, is, that, is everybody Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange is looking like, yo, what are you? Uh, no, Doctor Strange is all like, yo, is that everybody? The dude, from the, the dude that was with him was like, yo, what did you mean? That's enough? This, this is all we need. This is everybody we got right here. So that ends up happening. Um, after that, people started duking it out with uh, Thanos and all that crazy stuff. Uh, we see everybody, we see even Hulk, even Hulk and, and Rocket and them being up pulling through. Everybody was doing duking against Thanos' uh, army. Um, next thing I next thing I know, uh, we see Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch comes out of nowhere and was one of the main highlights of this uh, of that whole uh, fighting thing was um, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch pretty much says, he said, you took everything from me, you stole literally everything from me. Thanos responds, he was all like, yo, I don't even know who you are, bro. Who are you? He, who even are you? I'm like, yo, that was crazy. Then she's like, you, you gonna find out? So you'll find out who I am. And uh, yo, then Thanos is a little bit kind of, I guess, kind of getting rid of his armor and is crushing him as well. And uh, Thanos is like, yo, fire the missiles. Thanos is like, yo, fire these missiles, fire the missiles. And they're all like, yo, my soldiers. What about the soldiers? He said, just do it. And then the the, uh, the missiles are being fired. But then here comes Captain Marvel. And in spite of how people do feel about Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel definitely did. Uh, she did a lot of people work channel for her in the theater that I was in. People were really happy to see her and stuff. Like, yeah, for, I, yeah, I'm like, oh, I thought y'all hated her. So she was destroying Thanos' ship and um and just getting just throwing his hands with Thanos. She 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 hung in with him. She was she uh she helped out a lot. That's why people people feel about her. She did help. Um, she did. She was helping a little bit with Thanos with, with uh, Infinity Gauntlet, and she did destroy Thanos' ship. So which was two main things that she you know two pretty big pretty big parts in the movie. And uh, but eventually she does get blasted away with the Power Stone and. So yeah, Captain, so yeah, Captain Marvel pretty much does, you know, she tried to hang with Thanos, she couldn't really do much, so, um, uh, at the end, like, she, she did what she could, then she ended up getting busted by the Power Stone, um, Doctor Strange pretty much gave Iron Man that cue, because earlier in the movie, he was all like, if, it, if I, if I, if I tell you, then it's not gonna work, and then after that, so, so, Doctor Strange was like this, Tony pretty much went up towards Thanos, because Thanos was about to power up his Infinity Gauntlet, Tony was trying to, you know, trying to take it off of him, so that ended up being working, so Tony ended up taking so next time Tony got back up, Tony was on the Infinity Gauntlet, and this time Thanos punched him. But this time Iron Man grabbed uh, Tony, grabbed the Infinity Stones. Thanos thought he was getting the clear. He was about to snap, and he did. And then Thanos was like, "I'm inev inevitable." Then I, Iron Man, and then Tony was like, "Well, I am Iron Man." Then he snapped, and that was probably one of the most emotional scenes I've ever seen in, in any movie. So Tony ended up passing away you know, because. You know, he can't. I mean, he, he he's a he, he's a human. He, he's a human. You know, I know he has that armor and stuff, but he's a human underneath all this. So he couldn't handle it. Like it burned his face, all that radiation burned his face, his arm, and all that, his head, all that, his, his face, all that crazy stuff, bro. And uh, you know, Pepper's Pepper's all like, you can rest now. Everything's gonna be okay. And um, so Spider Man's people say, yo, hey, say, Mr. Stark, we did it. And Tony couldn't even talk. So. It was crazy, man. Everybody in the theater was sniffling and crying and all that. I tried to hold in my tears again, and I almost cried again. I almost cried myself, so that's how powerful that scene was. So, 
that Tony even had a video for his kids and all that stuff. You know, you know, one last message because he knew he was probably gonna, you know, one last message saying how much he loves them and cares about him and all that stuff. Then um, everything was back to normal. Everything was pretty much good to go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the how the movie ended. That's how the movie ended. And um, yeah, yeah. And so my thoughts on the movie: I thought it was a great movie. I thought it was a really, really solid film. Um, some things there were some things I didn't have, I had a lot of issues with and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was a good film overall. I think everybody should see this movie if you're a huge Marvel fan and you've been following the series as long as I have and all that. I've seen all the Marvel films, so all 22 of them. So I think you guys should all should watch it and enjoy it and have fun before it's out of theaters and before it's off on the big screen. So um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, this movie gets an A. A, a for me. So go see it, Avengers Endgame. And uh, yeah, see you guys in my next video. Whenever that should be. And uh, yeah. Bye, Stay safe, stay fresh. But Marcus Spider, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Z. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, Z. Okay, I'm okay.